hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Meryl if you are new here hello welcome thank you for joining me today and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back I appreciate it um, it's been a while <laughs> as I feel like I've been saying in every video recently um, I've just been super crazy busy with work and also just the move with my ex moving out was just like a lot well not really a lot but like you know busy doing lots of things just trying to reorganize my space but here we are, I'm ready to film again, so that is what I'm going to do. Before we get started, I would love so much if you would subscribe to my channel, give this video a little like if you like it, and you can also follow me on Instagram here if you please. Also, I know like the light is kind of shining on that photo, so I'm still trying to figure it out, okay? It's the first video back, so I might have to move those photos, but they're just so cute, so I'll figure it out eventually. I am now living by myself. It's been about a week now, actually a week. It has been a week. Um, I just got Wi-Fi today, so I've had a week of no Wi-Fi. Things are slowly starting to come together. I'll do a little house reno. It's not really reno, it's like I'm not renoing anything. It's just more redecorating. So I'll have that vlog up in a long time. <laughs> it's not gonna be anytime soon, but it'll be there eventually and I'll keep you updated. Um, anyway, so let's shut the fuck up and start doing some makeup. I haven't done makeup in so long. Oh my god, I miss filming, dude. I'm gonna do my brows first. I got a couple new products here that I want to try out. They're just from the drugstore, but they're exciting, I think, at least in my mind. Um, first thing I got is this NYX brow pen. So I've been on the hunt for a brow pen that's like affordable, easy to get, doesn't take a million years to ship. Because the Glossier one takes a million years to ship, but it lasts a super long time. So I honestly think it's worth it. But I got this new NYX one that I'm actually really liking. It has like this finest, finest tip. It's super, super tiny. You can get really nice thin strokes, which I am all about. Um, and it's a good shade for me. I have the shade Ash Brown. And I've been really enjoying this pencil. But I think I forgot how to do my makeup because I normally put my brow gel on first. So let's do that. I'm taking my Refi brow gel and I need a mirror. Well, a lot of product came out. Ugh. I like this brow gel. I like what it does, but there are a few things that I don't love about it. Those things being, this fucking spoolie is huge. Like, can we get a smaller spoolie next time? And can we also get a clear brow gel? This leaves a bit of a white cast on my skin tone and like I have pretty light skin. So I can't imagine how much of a cast it would leave on people who have darker skin than me. Like I can always, like I can, I can definitely see it. So clear brow gel would be better. And also a smaller spoolie because it just kind of gets all over the place. It's like annoying. I haven't used this in so long though so I'm pretty excited because I do love the effect that it gives. It truly is beautiful. I've got some kind of wild brow hairs over here so I'd love for them to stay down. Is that so much to ask? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Okay now we're gonna go in with our brow pen and just do some nice little strokes. Not bad. I really do like this brow pen. Okay I'm gonna do the other one. I'll be right back. Brows are on. Um, so I've already got my skincare on. I used my Pharmacy Daily Greens. I just got this in my BoxyCharm actually. And I also put on a little bit of the Ren Glowly, Glowly, huh? Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. Um, I ran out of my Ren Global Protection one and then I was about to buy a new one, but this came in my BoxyCharm and I was like, wow, this is perfect timing and I'm so happy about it. So I've got that on. For my base, are my brows looking a little funky? Let me just add a little flick right in there or multiple. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a battle of the brows type video and like talk about all my favorite brow products and my not so favorite brow products. So expect that in the future. I'm taking my Jekka Black Under Eye Brightener. I honestly don't remember how the fuck I don't really do my makeup. Like when I go to work, I just put on brows and under eye concealer and call it a day. I don't even put mascara on because it's like wet and rainy outside. Condensation from the mask, it just like flakes off instantly. So I literally just do brows and concealer. Okay, I got this new sponge. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge and I haven't used it yet. So I'm pretty excited to use it. 
um, and see how it works. It says it's best used with the e.l.f. camo concealer, but I'm like, man, I'm going to use it with any concealer that I'm currently using. So that's what we're doing. Foundation wars? Is that what I do? Who cares? Let's do it. So I'm going to take my Cool Beauty foundation. It is my fave for sure. Oh, right. It's a bit deep for me right now as I just continuously keep getting more pale. Um, wow, I took a lot, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Also, these breakouts down here are from wearing a mask all the time. It's like really fucking killing my vibe here. And my lips are so chapped right now, which also must be from like being outside in the cold. I'm taking my makeup eraser sponge. Foundation is on. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath concealer. What is this called again? Skin Finish Sublime in L4. I'm going to take this new Elf sponge. It's really soft. I really like the way that it feels. It's nice. Quite squishy. We're concealed. I took way too much foundation. Like I had way too much on my face and I still have that much left. Like but I think, how many faces did I think I was going to be covering right now? I'm going to take my Fenty Butter Biscuit bronzer and bronze up this pale ass face. Okay, now I'm going to take my blush. I'm taking my Patrick Ta blush and She's So LA. And we're going to use both of them today because it's been a while since I've used both of them. So we're going in with the powder first and then going in with the cream. I think I'm going to take the other side of this um, e.l.f. sponge and dip on in. No, is that like a clown cheeks? But I was gonna go in with the highlight and I think I'm gonna skip it. Oh my god, my auric order should be here Monday or Tuesday and then I'm gonna have it in my possession and use it probably every single day. Just taking the concealer side again to like blend out this little area under the eye. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use highlight. I'm feeling pretty highlighted. Um, but I will set my under eyes now using my CoverGirl True Blend. I like this one because it just blurs it out really nicely and also adds a tiny bit more coverage to my dark circles. Well, that looks like a lot though. I kind of switched up my lighting today, so there we have it. The face is on, everybody. Now we're going to go on. <laughs> Excuse me? Now we're moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. I just felt like doing something cute and neutral and like glam, you know? I'm like, I feel like recently I've done a lot of colorful looks. So I just wanna like go back to, go back to the basics. Okay, this is like hella kickbacky. Like, oh my God, I'm blinding you all. Okay, I'm taking Shredded and putting it all over my lid. Like a slight shimmer to this, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a lovely bunch, which is this one right here, and run that through the crease. All my brushes got stained from that video I did, then I took it down because I was like, this video quality sucks, even though that was probably one of my favorite videos. I just changed up the editing style on it and I really liked it, but I deleted it because it just looked like shit, so. Let me know what you think about this editing that I'll be doing here in this video. Anyways, I'm taking Shell Yeah on this MAC 217 brush. Packing it in. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. I really love this palette, it's super pretty. And then going back in with the first brush and just buffing this out. Fuck, my body hurts. I started working out again a couple, for the last couple days and it's always those first few days back where you're like, why am I doing this? And then you just continue to do it and you're like, oh, okay, we're fine. We're just dramatic. One of my best friends, Cassie, and her boyfriend, they um, have had an exercise bike that they don't use, so she dropped it off for me today. <laughs> and I mean, I tried it, I used it today, and I was like, uh, I haven't cycled in a hot year, <laughs> maybe more. And I quit halfway through because I was like, I don't want to do this. So we'll uh, try again tomorrow. It didn't really work out for me today. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay. It's not going to go perfect every time. You're going to want to not do it sometimes. And sometimes you will stop halfway through. And that's okay. And that's what I did today. So we'll just uh, keep on trying, right? That's all you can do. The important part is, is that you tried. Even if it didn't work out, just keep trying again. Okay, what the hell is happening up here? I don't know about this brush. Okay, I'm going to just take a bit more of a lovely bunch and try and blend out this nightmare. 
which is happening here. Okay, I think I want to take a tiny bit of Nutty, which is this nice dark brown, and just deepen up the uh, this area right here. Just like a tiny little baby bit, like that. And then just keep blending it out until we, until we like it. So there's some more definition, you know? How's that? It's not too shabby. <laughs> what? 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 When have I ever said that? Ever. With that accent at least. Okay, there's that. I think I like it. And now we're gonna go on top with this really pretty shimmer shade that's in the middle called Coco Crush. Oh, it's like such a pretty shade. Oh, hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> Hella fallout though. Okay, that's super duper pretty. I'm gonna have to go back in with those other brushes and kind of touch everything up. I think that looks pretty. I'm gonna try and clean up the outer edge because, you know. It's a bit better. We're gonna do the bottom waterline. <clears throat> and then we're gonna pop on a wing because I got a new wing. <laughs> Stop it. I have a new liner. That also came in my boxy charm for January. I take this NYX number 15 brush. It's just good for the bottom waterline. Also, I have some new lashes to try that are super weird. Oftentimes, I just use the same brush for my waterline, so I do for all the shades, is what I'm trying to say. So I just go back and forth, and then, you know, they all just kind of end up blending nicely together. Now I haven't done a wing in a hot minute so let's just hope for the best for me. Going in with the second shade and just focusing on the middle of the lid to the outer corner and by lid I meant bottom waterline. And now we're gonna take Nutty which is a nice deep brown shade and just put a little bit on the outer area here. And now I would say it's time for a wing. So I got this in my BoxyCharm. <gasps> Hi kitty! So I got this in my boxy charm, and it came with a pencil liner as well, which I haven't tried yet because I haven't done my makeup in like a month. Um, but yeah, this is from a brand called Queen. Yeah, Queen with a V. Queen Cosmetics, I believe, and this is the Dragon Liner. So it came with these two. I'm gonna use the liquid one today. We're gonna attempt a wing. Okay, it's been a while, so don't judge me here. I mean. Judge me if you want. Okay, here we fucking go, boys. Look, it's super... Okay, that was not a great representation. Super black, though. And, like, obviously this one was the tip and that one I accidentally did on the side. But let's, um, let's wing it out. <laughs> what? Never say that again. Let's wing it out? I can't... Okay. I've seen worse. I've done worse. So we'll take it. I'm gonna do the other one. I'll be right back. Welcome to the video. Say hello. Oh. Hi. She's like, don't ever fucking do that to me again. Right? Is that what you said? I obviously kept the cat in the breakup. We didn't want to move her again. And I stayed at the house that we were living at when we broke up. Well, like we moved to this house like a year ago anyways, um, and we didn't want to move her again So I and I put a lot of work into the garden So I was like, you know, I'm down to stay here and I also want to keep this little angel cat. She's so freaking cute Also, she's a bitch though, but She's actually been a lot nicer to me Ever since I've been alone here. I'm just gonna continue on with her on my lap. Um, oh, she's leaving <laughs> Okay the wings are on. I need to touch up this one a bit. It's a little bit fucky. They went surprisingly well for not having done a wing in like a long ass time. So take what we can get. Um, I'm gonna pop on, oh actually no, I have a new mascara I wanted to show you. Okay, I got this mascara at Winners. My favorite place to find things for cheap. And I saw this thing recently that's like a Winners just like puts a new tag on the expiry date and whatever but like i mean if it hasn't been opened i think it should be fine for the most part so we're gonna just use it anyways it has this really cool wand this is what the package looks like 
and it's like a nice little small wand for the bottom lashes and then the other wand for the top lashes so let's open it up let's see what weird very weird i don't think i'm gonna like this it's like very separated and super spiky can you see it yes okay like what the fuck is this wand it looks super weird um we're gonna try it though and if it sucks we're gonna use something else okay so these are curled let's take this mascara i don't think i'm gonna like this dude it looks fucked Oh, I didn't even tell you what it's called. It's called the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. It's pretty lengthening, but it doesn't give me volume at all. But it does separate the lashes a lot. Okay, and now we're gonna try the bottom one. I hate it on the bottom. This little weird top thing is like good to get into the inner corner, but I don't love it on the bottom. But the big side is pretty good on the bottom. It's not that great. I mean, it's not the worst. I've used worse mascaras, but I've also used a lot better mascaras too. Okay, so I have these new lashes to try out. These are super weird. Like, I don't understand. It doesn't have any instructions either. But they're aqua lashes. Oh. <laughs> it says dip and apply. So I'm like... This is gonna be weird. So you apparently just dip these in some water and they, the water is activated and it's like glue. So who knows how that's gonna work out. I don't really have anything to just dip it into. Like I'm gonna spray it. These are what they look like. What the hell? Why are they so long? Okay, that's the lash band super long i'm trimming off like all of that but this is a very very stiff lash band like this is probably not going to be very comfortable it's like a twig i'm gonna spray this i mean yeah it feels sticky let's try it out Actually really sticky what the hell mm, they're lifting for sure well since there's no glue let's curl them right away what the fuck happened so much like there's like strings of whatever this is okay these oh my god what's happening oh it's inner corner here is all fucked the inner corner will just not stick down so i don't know what to do about that like can you just fuck off this one it's like holding pretty good though like it's on there for sure, except for the inner corner. These lashes suck, I'm gonna take them off. Oh. I have all my eyeliner. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. I'm gonna touch that up and put on some regular lashes because those were a flop for me, bro. For sure, a flop. Let me just fix all this. Put on my Allure lashes by Allure by Arsh. These are for sure my favorite lashes ever to ever grace my eyes, dude. I tell ya. They're just perfect. And I highly recommend you picking up some Allure by Arsh lashes if uh, you're in the market for some lashes. I have a discount code. It is Meryl20 for 20% off. So how about that? Okay, be right back. I'm gonna put these on. These lashes are just perfection, dude. They're so, so pretty. Oh my god. Look at them. Have you ever seen a prettier lash? 
I don't think you have. My cat's back. She wants dinner. I'm filming at like seven. Like it's now it's seven. I've been filming for like an hour. I never film at night. Lashes are on. Looking fucking good, dude. Now we're gonna do some lip. I'm taking my Quo Beauty Lip Contour Pencil in Nuditude 52. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Whitney Simmons Bare Bud Lipstick. This is a Whitney Simmons Times Tarte. I'm almost out. This is all I have left. When I first got this, I literally used this like every time I did my makeup. We were also allowed to do things when I first got this, so I wore it like every day. Time for, time for a little setting spray. I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Oh, there's something in my eyeball. Oh, there's a lot of things in my eyeball. Okay, maybe this mascara um, was expired. There's something, oh my, there's so many. I think it's safe to say that mascara was expired or something because it just fully flaked off and was like, there's like, it's in my eyeball, which is um, uncomfortable to say the least. Okay, shut up, setting spray. All right, we've got to end it because my upstairs neighbors are starting to get loud. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's so nice to be back filming and making videos again. I've missed it so, so much. Um, a couple things. Yeah, those lashes were a huge flop for me. They are super uncomfortable. They didn't even stick down properly. Like, it could be a no for me, dog. And also that mascara is a definite no. It's just like flaking into my eyes, which is not comfortable at all. And now my eye is watering, so love that for me. I will have all the products I used today listed in the description box down below, so you can check them out there if you're interested. And uh, I'll also have my Instagram linked down there as well. I'd love for you to give me a little follow over there. I'm pretty excited for what this new chapter in my life has in store for me. Um, I've never lived alone before, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to experiencing new things, really getting to know myself, you know? All those, uh, all those things that happen to you when you live by yourself. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.